Hello and welcome to my channel JK Vison. Today we will learn about the history of Ayodhya Ram Mandir. Friends, fasten your seat belts. Let go on a wonderful journey to Ayodhya Ram Temple. The Ram Mandir is a Hindu temple that is under construction in Ayodhya, Uttar Pradesh, India. It is located at the site of Ram Janmabhoomi, the hypothesized birthplace of Rama, a principal deity of Hinduism. The site is the former location of the Babri Masjid which was built after the demolition and existing temple. In 2019, the Supreme Court of India delivered an unanimous verdict to give the disputed land to Hindus for a temple of Ram, while Muslims would be given land elsewhere to construct a mosque. The court referenced a report from the Archaeological Survey of India ASI, as evidence suggesting the presence of a structure beneath the demolished Babri Masjid that was deemed to be non-Islamic. The foundation stone laying ceremony for the commencement of the construction of Ram Mandir was performed on 5 August 2020 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The temple, currently undergoing construction, is being supervised by the Sri Ram Janmabhumi Tirath Kshetra Trust. The Pran Pratishtha, Transal. Consecration Ceremony of Ram Lalla, the infant form of Rama in the Sanctum Sanctorum, Garbhagrai, along with the inauguration of the temple, is set to be done on the 22nd of January 2024. History of Ram Temple Rama, an incarnation of Vishnu, is a Hindu deity. According to the ancient Indian epic, Ramayana, Rama was born in Ayodhya. In the 16th century, the temple was attacked and destroyed by Babur in his series of temple raids across northern India. Later, the Mughals constructed a mosque, the Babri Masjid, which is believed to be the site of the Ram Janmabhoomi, the birthplace of Rama. The earliest record of the mosque may be traced back to 1767, in the Latin book, The Script Show Indi, authored by the Jesuit missionary, Joseph Tifantala. According to him, the mosque was constructed by destroying the Ramko temple, believed to be the fortress of Rama in Ayodhya, and the Bedi, where the birthplace of Rama is situated. The first instance of religious violence was documented in 1853. In December 1858, the British administration prohibited Hindus from conducting puja transal, rituals at the contested site. A platform was created for conducting rituals outside the mosque. Modern the sadhus of Ayodhya installed a murti transal, idols of Ram Lalla in the central hall of the disputed temple site on the night of the 22nd to the 23rd of December 1949. In the 1980s, the Vishwa Hindu Parishad (VHP), belonging to the Hindu nationalist family Sangh Parivar, launched a new movement to reclaim the site for Hindus and to erect a temple dedicated to the infant Rama, Ram Lalla, at this spot. The VHP began to collect funds and bricks with Jaya Shri Ram written on them. Later, the government under Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi gave the VHP permission for Shilanyas Transal. The foundation stone ceremony to proceed with the then Home Minister, Bhuta Singh, formally conveying the permission to the VHP leader, Ashok Singhal. Initially, the government of India and government of Uttar Pradesh had agreed that the Shilanya would be conducted outside of the disputed site. However, on 9 November 1989, a group of VHP leaders and sadhus laid the foundation stone by digging a 200-litre, 7 cubic foot, pit adjacent to the disputed land. The Singhwar, Transal, main entrance, of the Sanctum Sanctorum was constructed there. The VHP then laid the foundations of a temple on the land adjacent to the disputed mosque. On 6 December 1992, the VHP and the Bharatiya Janata Party organized a rally at the site involving 150,000 volunteers, known as Karsevaks. The rally turned violent, the crowd overwhelmed the security forces and tore down the mosque. The demolition of the mosque resulted in several months of intercommunal violence between India's Hindu and Muslim communities, causing the death of an estimated 2,000 people in Bombay, now Mumbai, as a direct consequence, and triggering riots all over the Indian subcontinent. A day after the demolition of the mosque, on 7 December 1992, the New York Times reported that over 30 Hindu temples across Pakistan were attacked, some set on fire, and one was demolished. Hindu temples in Bangladesh were also attacked. On 5 July 2005, five terrorists attacked the makeshift Ram Temple at the site of the destroyed Babri Masjid in Ayodhya. All five were shot dead in the ensuing encounter with the Central Reserve Police Force CRPF, while one civilian died in the grenade attack that the attackers launched to breach the cordoned wall.
The CRPF suffered three casualties, two of whom were seriously injured with multiple gunshot wounds. Two archaeological excavations in 1978 and 2003 conducted by the Archaeological Survey of India ASI, found evidence indicating that the Hindu temple's remains existed on the site. Archaeologist K.K. Muhammad accused several left-leaning historians of undermining the findings. Over the years, various title and legal disputes took place, such as the passage of the acquisition of certain area at Ayodhya Act in 1993. It was only after the Supreme Court's verdict on the Ayodhya dispute in 2019, that it was decided that the disputed land would be handed over to a trust formed by the Government of India for the construction of a Ram Temple. The trust was eventually formed under the name of the Sri Ram Janmabhumi Tirath Kshetra. On 5 February 2020, it was announced in the Parliament of India that the government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi had accepted a plan to construct the temple. Two days later, on 7 February, five acres of land were allocated for a new mosque to be built 22 kilometers, 14 miles away from Ayodhya in Dhanipur village. Thanks for watching the video please subscribe, like and share. For more information about Ram Temple, stay connected with us for part 2.